Hello again, I am Blunty. This is Little Anvil, the uh, compact little gaming machine I built a little while back. Regular viewers and subscribers around here will know all about it, but it's having a change. Well, it's having a big change soon, but having a little change today because I have something new to shove in it. This, as you can tell if you've mastered the art of reading English, is the W. <laughs> Why? It's the WD Blue SSD. These are new, and it's been a long time coming, if you ask me. Hooray! Now, the blue designation for WD refers to something that is a, a mainstream drive. This is your everyday drive. We'll make an ideal system drive, for example. This is the one terabyte version. <laughs> they also boop, boop, come in two other capacities, but this, this is the big boy. So what I'm going to do today is rip this out of the box. In fact, let's do that now. We're going to rip it out of the box, whack it in that, and uh, see what kind of difference it makes. Now, there's drives inside there at the moment are also WD drives, but they are the WD hybrid drives. There are uh, one terabyte drives, but they have an eight gigabyte SSD built onto them to sort of store stuff temporarily in the fast SSD memory while the, uh, well, it feeds stuff to and from the slower mechanical drive. That's the halfway point between a regular mechanical drive and an SSD hybrid drive. There we go, as you can see, it's fresh out of the box, still got the attention, to, what is it? The, oh, this big, uh, Let's try that again in English. <laughs> Attention, observe precautions for handling electrostatic sensitive device. Um, let's just pretend I've got an electrostatic uh, wrist strap on my ankle or something. Bam! <coughs> Bam! <laughs> it's going so smoothly today. <laughs> right. There's not actually much to show you about the SSD. It's pretty much exactly the same as any other SSD out there, except it's got a WD sticker on the front there. I'm not, I gotta be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of that sticker. It's a bit, Boring, if you ask me. I like, I you mean, know, I build rigs like that from time to time. I like things to look a bit fancier. But I suppose it's just a nice flat surface. You could sort of print out your own vinyl decals and stuff if you are a modder or something. So, eh, it is a fairly uh, blank canvas on which to um, get fancy if fancy is what you desire. But fancy is not what we desire here because this is a box without any windows on it. So, well, it has windows on it because it's a Windows PC, but there's no windows in the case. I'm having a weird day today, guys. Ah, oh, right, so next step, pull this apart, whack that drive in, then we're gonna show you some tests. Yeah, I do love me a little mini montage. Anyway, while you're busy furiously giving me thumbs up on the video for that awesome little mini build montage, <laughs> as we watch Windows 10 boot, the deal is this. Both drives have an identical setup, literal clones of one another. Windows 10 is fully updated, as is Steam and the game I'll be showing. Startup is from a cold boot, and I've cut out the time it took to enter the password to remove that small variable. And the WD Blue SSD kicks us into the desktop in a rather impressive 11 seconds. Meanwhile, we're churning away for precisely three times longer on the WD Blue SSHD. And for a window into what that does to games, I'll be using Rise of the Tomb Raider, mainly because it was conveniently already installed on this machine, and it's a game where load times between levels feel like an aggressive break in the otherwise wonderful flow of this game. We get seven seconds to the menu for the SSD, nearly twice that for the SSHD. Loading up the benchmark provides essentially identical results, twice as long for the one that goes clickety-clack. Now, this next test isn't about load times. Watch carefully. This shows you the significant advantage an SSD has in streaming texture data to your graphics card. Notice the late pop-in of several objects under the SSHD run. So, not only do you waste less time waiting for games and levels to load, but in many games, the experience is demonstrably smoother and more seamless. And finally, to close out and reinforce every other test, loading a proper level. Everyone's favorite in-game benchmark, the Soviet installation. 
A not too shabby 25 seconds on the SSD, and an extra 20 seconds later, the SSHD catches up at 43 seconds. Now, as I said the last time I tested an SSD, none of this is exactly breaking news. We all know games run better on SSDs, that's why we have them. But you guys know me, I always like to see and indeed show the real world performance gear makes. And that is what, pretty simply, you see here. And while we've already got plenty of options for SSDs in this kind of everyday performance and price level, it's just nice to see WD finally on board with SSDs to complement the rock solid mechanical drives they're so well known for. And in fact, I myself swear by for my own mass media storage, gaming, and my video editing needs. Now, the WD Blue SSD is really nothing groundbreaking. All it is at the end of the day is a nice mainstream level SSD, but it's from a brand who's earned trust. And that's worthwhile in my book. So there you go. That is uh, what happens to Little Anvil when you chuck one of Western Digital's new SSD drives inside there. The Western Digital Blue one terabyte SSD drive. Again, also available in smaller, uh, I need to say denominations. Capacity is the word I'm looking for. Denominations. I know what it is. I switched to some sugar-free energy drink today. That's what's screwing up my uh, neurons. I haven't got enough sugar in my system. Plenty of caffeine, but no sugar. My uh, body chemistry doesn't know what to do with it. Ha! Ha ha! Thanks for watching. I am... <laughs> I will catch you next time. I might switch back to the sugary ones.